The biggest takeaway for me from this event was just the power, and you're gonna hear this a lot, but just the power of being around successful people, um, people that are winning at a high level, people that are actually doing the things that you wanna do, achieving the things that you wanna achieve, and be able to just not only pick their brains, so to speak, but develop a relationship with them and find out what are these steps that you're doing to have the success you're, you're having. Because I went a long time ago, success wasn't hard, right? It's just, you gotta find someone who has what you want, do what you do, and you'll get what they got. The people that are performing at a high level are always willing to invest in themselves. And you wanna be around people that are willing to invest in themselves because they're doing what it's gonna take to get to you to where you wanna go. And I think it's one of the biggest things that most people miss when they start having success is to continue to do the things that helps you have success success, which one of those key factors is around being around the people who have what you want and are winning at a high level. Here's the thing I love about Arturo Johnson. <clears throat> There's very few authentic people who actually deliver what it is that they're telling you that they can deliver. Um, and I always heard the expression is I'd rather under promise and over deliver than to over promise and under deliver. And um, I actually met Arturo through Cody Askins and he put us on a FaceTime together. And um, I talked about him coming to our SWAT training, our strategic wealth accumulation tactics event. Um, without a blink of an eye, he's like, I'll be there. I said, hey, I want you to speak. I want you to teach what it is that you do in terms of consulting and your marketing. Um, and him coming to that event, he has such a great impact on it, but he was able to develop some incredible relationships with some of the agents that I work with um, and how they're utilizing his coaching, they're utilizing his consulting, utilizing um, his leads, his lead generation, the things that he does and puts together, he's an expert on that he delivers on, which is really, besides the fact of the great relationship I have with him, is affecting my bottom line in a positive way. I have agents that, you know, 20, girl in her 20s started using this program and started working with his leads and you know, top of the leaderboards in the entire company in the next week. So I'm just excited to have somebody um, that's a, not only a good friend now, we're developing an incredible relationship, but having someone who's really going to give you an expectation and then not only hit the expectation, but most of the time, in my opinion so far working with them, he'll exceed that expectation. So I get this question a lot where people go, what would you say to someone who's on the fence about dot, 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 dot? Well, I don't think it, sitting on the fence for anything is a good place to be at. Either you need to be on the one side or not the side, right? Why, why, why would you sit on the fence? You make a decision, go, hey, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it no matter what, and you go over the fence, or you say, listen, I'm not gonna do it. And it, like I said, be hot, be cold. So many people, so many times in my life, I was lukewarm, right? I'd be like, oh, I'm trying to do this, and I'm trying to do that, and I'm trying to do this. And I met my, mil my mentor who was making a million dollars a week, and I'll never forget a conversation I had with him in an office. And he said, Nate, the, pro the reason you're not successful is you're always trying. I lived on the fence. I want to, but dot, 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 dot. I really need to, however, dot, 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 dot. And he said, go try to turn that light on. I was sitting there like, well, what do you mean try to turn it on? I walk over to the light switch and I'm trying to turn it on. He's like, I said, try to turn it on. Try and turn the light on. I'm like, I I'm trying. He's like, no, you're not. I said, try. And I flipped it on. He goes, I didn't tell you to flip off on the switch. So I flipped it off because I didn't turn, it, turn off the switch. And that's how he talked to me, right? He goes, you can't try and do anything. You're trying to have success. You're trying to do sales. You're trying to recruit. You're trying, trying, trying. And that's why you're dying, 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 right? He said, you either do it or you don't. So any decision, whether it's a mastermind event like this, or it's an event that you had to become grow better and be around people who are better and to invest in yourself, to learn things that you don't know, that's what you're paying for, to find out the things you don't know, because the things you don't know are costing you money. Because if I have someone who's doing this and they're getting that and I want that, then I need to do this. And if I want to do this, I have to pay to learn from the people doing this in order to get that. But then people live on the fence. So you're going to get off the fence. You either turn it on or turn it off. Either be in or be out. Learn to get off the fence. Because when you're on the fence, you're going broke.